Hey friends, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Today we're making this really fun triple time stamping card. So there's the outside, then we have the inside there. Alright, so to get started, for the card base, you'll need a piece of cardstock that is 8.5 by 5.5. You want to score it in the middle at 4 and a quarter. I chose white for my base. You will need more white. These pieces, you're going to need two of them that measure 3 and 3 quarter by 5. This one is two and three quarter by two and three quarter, and this one is one and one quarter by two and three quarter. And your accent color, I chose this green color. You will need two pieces that measure four by five and a quarter, one piece that measures three by three, and one piece that measures one and a half by three. All right, we're gonna set all that aside and work with these pieces. So we have our white, three and three quarter by five, our other white, two and three quarter by two and three quarter, and then this one, one and a quarter by two and three quarter. I'm gonna take just a little bit of adhesive on the back of this piece, and I'm gonna line this up in the middle of this white piece, on, going toward the left-hand side. Okay, I'm not sure how you can see that, but that's what that looks like there. All right, this piece I'm gonna stamp on, and I'm using one of Mamie Made It Stamps. It is called Dogwoods in Bloom. I can't find it now, but that's what it's called, Dogwood and Bloom. And I already have my greeting on my block. And I'll, I'll be using, here it is over here. Here we go. This is the stamp that I'm using, Dogwoods and Bloom. So I'm using my Versifying Black ink with the greeting. We're gonna go ahead and stamp that on the white piece. I'm gonna stamp off first, just to make sure I have good coverage on my stamp. Okay, now I'm going to stamp this toward the right of this white piece. Okay, just like that. Let me close that up, set that aside. Now I'm going to take this white piece, flip it over, put a little bit of piece on the back, just enough to hold it down, and we're going to lay this one in the middle across this one, going more toward the right. I mean, you can do any pattern you want to. All right, so we have our three pieces there. Now I'm going to zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to, I'm going to take my um, purple ink pad as well as my pink one. This is Stampin' Up! Gorgeous Grape and Melon Mambo. All right, and what we're going to do is bring in a piece of scrap paper here to stamp off. All right, so I'm going to take the solid image of this stamp set. You can see how I'm using this one here, this one, this leaf, and that leaf. So I have this solid image on my block, and I'm gonna first go with the purple. And what I wanna do is ink it up, make sure it's covered. I'm gonna stamp off over there and then stamp on. And when I stamp on here, I am doing a good amount of pressure to make sure I'm getting all the layers. Again, we're gonna ink it up really well, stamp it off, and then just rotate it to a different spot. Oops, look at that. Came right off. Let's go ahead and put some more glue on there. Hopefully we can get that line back up where it was. Okay, there we go, that should hold it now. All right, so again, ink that stamp up. I'm gonna stamp it off, and then maybe do over here a little bit. Okay, so we have those. I'm gonna get and clean this stamp off and stamp off, and now I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink. So we're gonna ink it up, make sure it's covered with ink, stamp it off on the side, and then bring it over here and stamp. Stamp it off, actually I'm gonna do that again. Come over here. And then one more. Stamp it off, and I'll take this one. I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit, so it'll kind of be off the paper. Okay, so that's what that looks like. All right, now we're done with that solid piece. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the piece that goes on top of that. So if you see the stamp set, it is a layering stamp set, so you can build up. And we're gonna use this piece, and I'm gonna do it in the pink first. And this time we're not stamping off, we're just going to stamp right on it. So I'm going to stamp one right there, and it just brings out the color 
of that a little bit more. And I'm not worried about getting it perfectly lined up. Let me do this one off here. There we go. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing with the purple. So again, I'm going to go and clean my stamp off. Stamp off here. Let's grab the purple. All right, and we're going to get this on there. So you can see how I'm not perfectly lined up. I kind of like that look. I think it gives it a little bit of character. And then let's do this one right here. Okay. Now I want to do the same exact thing with the leaves. So I'm going to set those aside and bring in my green ink. For this one, I'm using paper tray ink. And I have my leaf on my block here. Okay, so again, we're going to stamp it off then stamp it on. And we're going to use the leaf to fill in any areas that we need more color. Stamp off, come over here, stamp off, and I'll bring it over here so I can stamp off my paper. Okay, maybe one more at the top, somewhere around here. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we use the solid leaf. Now we're gonna use the overlay, as I call it. And for that one, it's right here. It just kind of flew off my block. And we're gonna go in the full ink with this one. And again, just get it on there. Doesn't need to be perfect. stands off here. Okay, so there is our card. Okay, now what we're going to do is take all of our stamps, go ahead and set them aside. Actually, we're not done yet. In that same stamp set, you will see these little pieces. They're the centers of the flowers. I'm going to take my black ink, the Versify black ink. I'm going to stamp in the middle of the flowers. We're close to the middle. And then I'm going to stamp around just to fill in a little bit more. So we're done with that. Now what we're going to do is take our other pieces. Let me get a close these stamps up or move them out of my way. Let's take our green pieces. Okay. So we're going to take these and just basically take this off. You want to just lightly twist it and it'll come off. Okay. So there's that one. Then we have this one here. Again, just lightly twist it a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to take these and adhere them to these pieces here. up in there. Okay, so there's one. Then we have our greeting piece. Okay, now we're going to adhere these pieces back to this piece. I'm going to be using foam squares. So on this green piece, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do four foam squares on this one. squish. Take the backing is off. It really is a fun little card. I'm going to zoom you guys back out a little bit. All right now to line these up you just kind of look and see where you stamped. So I can see I have part of my red flower here, part of my purple one there. Look at your leaf at the top. Okay, 
anyway, so I think that looks pretty good. Now on this one, I'm going to put two foam squares on it, but I want to put it on the side that has my greeting, so it's more toward the right. And give them a squish, take the backing off. And then on this side, we're going to just put regular adhesive. So I'm using my Art Glitter Glue on this one. And again, you want to just kind of hold this until you get it lined up to where it looks good. Okay, so there's the card front. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're going to flip this over, put some adhesive on it, and then adhere this to the green layer. Just like that. Then we're going to adhere this to the front of our card base. It's going to grab our card base, which we have right here. Make sure it's going the right way. All right, take this. And for all these sizes, I'll create a PDF tutorial or a PDF download on my website, which will I'll have linked below. You can go there and just download that. You'll always have the measurements. I will also include a QR code that links you back to this video. All right, so for the inside of the card, we have this other green piece and this other white piece. I'm going to stamp on this green one, or this white one, using the green ink. All we're doing this time is a leaf. Let me find my leaf image, which is right here. And again, I'm going to stamp off just like we've been doing. So stamp off. I'm going to first get that covered. Okay, stamp off. Then stamp on, stamp off, stamp on, then take the outline of the leaf and then just stamp it on there. Okay, super cute. And again, I love how it's not perfectly on there. It just gives it so much character. All right, now let's take this piece. We're going to adhere that to this other green piece, and this is going to go on the inside of the card. Okay. Open this up. It's been a while since I did a card using a white card base. Whenever I do a white card base, I do like adding a color cardstock on the inside just to break up that white a little bit. Super cute little card, right? All right, so there you have this finished card. Then you have this one. You'll see no two are alike. But I do love these cards. And I do have a card kit for you. Let me go and find that. So the card kit includes all the pieces you need as well as the envelope. And you'll also receive one of these cards with the envelope as well. So you have one to mail and one to make. So to be entered in the card kit, just go to my website, leave a comment, be the first to comment, and you'll be the winner of the card kit. All right, my friends, there you have it. A super simple and very pretty Friday PIP, our Pinterest Inspire project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.